What is climate change? Climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle. However, since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas. Burning fossil fuels generates greenhouse gas emissions that act as a blanket wrapped around the earth, trapping the sun's heat and raising temperatures. Examples of greenhouse gas emissions that are causing climate change include carbon dioxide and methane. These come from using gasoline for driving a car or coal for heating a building, for example. Clearing land and forests can also release carbon dioxide. Landfills for garbage are a major source of methane emissions. Energy, industry, transport, buildings, agriculture, and land use are among the main emitters. Greenhouse gas concentrations are at their highest levels in 2 million years. In addition, emissions continue to rise. As a result, the Earth is now about 1.1 degrees Celsius warmer than it was in the late 1800s. The last decade, 2011 to 2020, was the warmest on record. Many people think climate change mainly means warmer temperatures. However, temperature rise is only the beginning of the story. Because the Earth is a system where everything is connected, changes in one area can influence changes in all others. The consequences of climate change now include, among others, intense droughts, water scarcity, severe fires, rising sea levels, flooding, melting polar ice, catastrophic storms, and declining biodiversity. People are experiencing climate change in diverse ways. Climate change can affect our health, ability to grow food, housing, safety and work. Some of us are already more vulnerable to climate impacts, such as people living in small island nations and other developing countries. Conditions like sea level rise and saltwater intrusion have advanced to the point where whole communities have had to relocate, and protracted droughts are putting people at risk of famine. In the future, the number of climate refugees is expected to rise. Every increase in global warming matters. In a series of UN reports, thousands of scientists and government reviewers agreed that limiting global temperature rise to no more than 1.5 degrees Celsius would help us avoid the worst climate impacts and maintain a livable climate. Yet based on current national climate plans, global warming is projected to reach around 3.2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. The emissions that cause climate change come from every part of the world and affect everyone, but some countries produce much more than others do. The 100 least emitting countries generate 3% of total emissions. The 10 countries with the largest emissions contribute 68%. Everyone must take climate action, but people and countries creating more of the problem have a greater responsibility to act first. We face a huge challenge but already know many solutions. Many climate change solutions can deliver economic benefits while improving our lives and protecting the environment. We also have global frameworks and agreements to guide progress, such as the Sustainable Development Goals, the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change and the Paris Agreement. Three broad categories of action are cutting emissions, adapting to climate impacts and financing required adjustments. Switching energy systems from fossil fuels to renewables like solar or wind will reduce the emissions driving climate change. However, we have to start right now. While a growing coalition of countries is committing to net zero emissions by 2050, about half of emissions cuts must be in place by 2030 to keep warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Fossil fuel production must decline by roughly 6% per year between 2020 and 2030.